Hi everybody and welcome back to Kimbo's Comfort Kitchen and today we are doing more of an instructional video. Recently I uh, posted uh, black truffle carbonara which if I know if I say so myself, if I must say, was pretty spectacular. So if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Uh, but I also, because it was on sale, it was such a good deal for these black truffles, I ended up having too much. So what do you do with too much black truffle? Well, you make it into a compound butter with garlic. Because that way, now that it's made and it's frozen, I can take a slice off of this anytime I want and I can make a myriad of different things. I can make, I can take a slice and put it on a beautiful steak that's just been taken off the barbecue. I could take it and put it into a sauce, make a roux with the butter base and make a cream sauce out of it. I could make all sorts of different uh, variations on it, which in the next few weeks, I'm going to show you exactly which ones I've decided to do. So this will keep for a couple months and it's a good way to preserve these beautiful little babies because you really don't want them to go to waste. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the tricks I do if the butter's too hard, if my kitchen's too cold, is I will throw this in the microwave for 10 seconds and then turn it around and do another 10 seconds and this is the consistency that I'll get, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And so I've taken the uh, truffles and I've shaved them with a microplaner very delicately put them into the butter. As you can see, that's about 20% uh, truffle to the uh, butter here. And as you can see, I've also uh, microplaned the garlic, so it's a puree, and that's going in. And that's, again, important because I don't want chunks of garlic, because we know what happens when garlic burns. It turns everything bitter. So I'm gonna mix this up well. And once this is all mixed up, then I will make the log, the big log. Okay, so I've mixed, blended the butter well. See the consistency is perfect right now for what we're gonna do. I should mention that I'm uh, using salted butter. A lot of times when you're doing compound butters, uh, we don't like to use uh, salted butter. In this case though, I do because the salt will act as a preservative better for when I freeze it. It'll last longer. It'll be at least, I can put this in for at least two months because it's salted butter as opposed to unsalted butter. And I personally love, love that salt in it. So let me lay this out. I'm going to take half of this like this to make the first log. And I'll show you how to do that in one second as soon as I set up. Okay, so we've mixed this butter up nicely, and I'm gonna gently put it on the saran. Oh, did I say gently? I meant gently. Put it on the saran, and there we go. It's really not that complicated at the end of the day. But there is a bit of a technique. You don't want air bubbles in it, so I'm gonna splay this out a bit. And there we go. So I press it down, make sure there's no bubbles. Nice thing about this is there's so many different recipes that I can use this for. I can use it for um, if I want to make uh, another pasta dish and add this, or I can make a roux to make a cream sauce with this. I mean, there's just so many different applications. It's unbelievable. So, and the nice thing is I can keep this for two months. I'm using um, salted butter. I think I may have mentioned that because I like the fact that the salt will help keep it um, preserved. When I finish with this, I'm going to put it in the fridge for an hour and then I'm going to put it in the, um, in the freezer and it'll last in the freezer for a couple months at least. So you can see I'm just folding this over, trying to get those, make sure there's no bubbles. Now I'm going to press this tight. I'm using saran instead of parchment because, um, frankly, it just seals better. Okay, so I've got the bubbles out. I'm going to twirl it around like 
that. And then once this is frozen, I can take this out anytime I want and make, like I said, a myriad of different things with it. And I'm going to take the ends, and tie them off, he says. There we go. Tie that off, and then I'm going to squeeze that down. And I'm going to do the same on the other end. And as they say, Bob is your uncle, unless he's not. So this is how you make compound butter, specifically with uh, summer truffle and a little bit of garlic with uh, salted butter. And this will keep for a couple of months. I'm going to use this in a couple of recipes that are going to be coming up in the next few weeks. And I'll show you what you can do with this. So if you like this, please share. And um, if you don't, then please don't share. Wah. So in that, and subscribe. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you soon. Bye.